Within this release, we've um, improved security in a, in a couple different areas. So one is for JDBC, you could actually pass in a different user ID and password on the connection. So um, you so when you define the connection on a database, let's go to edit security and you can one either hard code a value in there or choose a field. So it could be something on the session that you're passing around. So on the session, you could be passed around a user ID and password for the database, for instance. And we can utilize those that piece of information so that you can enforce some sort of, you know, if you if your database supports um, role of security, you can then filter down the data even more on what they want to see, on what they would want to see, and control it, control it, even and fine tune it more for that user. So, one you could have all your, you know, product lists as well as queries, you know, having the, a where clause on it saying, hey, I want to filter by this uh, user and you know, and pass this user ID and password in. Um, instead of something else. So if you have like maybe an organization, if you're, you know, have multi, you know, have multiple customers, and you just want to make sure that they're going to see their data, you can have a field in here that will take, you know, an organization like field, and then based on organization, it'll filter out all, you know, the data down to that. Likewise, um, with Monitoring queries, entitled analysis, and specify not only JDBC password being passed onto the database, but you can also specify a role. And so, whatever role they've defined, you've defined in your monitor schema, they can only see those different levels within inside that cube. Lastly, is the uh, we have a new kind of OLAP connection. So in the previous release, you had a what we called the you know the advanced JDBC custom, and what that was was just a hey look we're gonna connect a connection to a database, but we don't uh, I have the, you're not gonna get a query builder in it. You're gonna dynamically create the query for the report. So it works the same sort of way where you where when you define the data source, all you're defining is the schema file and the connection for this. The actual query is on the master report under attributes under query. So you can either one, you could do, um, you could put your MDX statement here. But the real purpose of this is really dynamically changing that MDX statement. So if you don't want to use that for the parameter syntax, and you really want to change not only what uh, the filtering is on the report, but you want to you don't want to modify what columns are being passed and such. You know, you can do that with inside a formula. So inside this formula, I have an example of just a very simple one where this formula is actually looking looking at a you know a parameter. So all that query is a parameter. You'll see that all that query here string is a parameter. And we've got on the parameters here. So what we've done here is put in the line, you know, we prioritize the whole MDX statement and then for the variable I'm gonna pass in a you know line in there. This is just an example. So when I go and run this report, it's gonna ask me what line I want to look at. So again, that's what the OLAP query is. It's just a way of dynamically sending in the full MDX statement to the report. Charting, we've uh, added another a new chart type called the XY area line. So you can easily just create, or you know, we have a. Now we, it supports. We had the X Y bar and X and then X Y line and just we had X Y area. Um, we combine two together, so you have the X Y 
line and area together. So you can specify the area and the line options on the report. And I'll just run this for you right here. And so you can actually still have, you know, the, you know, areas doing is sales. So that's the sales stuff. And then the line is actually specifying volume. So you can see volume as well. So if you look at the uh, classic cars, the uh, volume and sales kind of match their trend line. Something not it's not new, but I just kind of want to go through it. Uh, in this session, is kind of utilize the the pivot data 